Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am going to be kitting up the Princess Mononoke from Diamond Art Club. I'm going to be using my Elizabeth Ward storage containers to kit this up, but first I need to use my little paper cutter so that I can cut my stickers because this kit was purchased before Diamond Art Club started cutting them for us. So let me get everything lined up here and get some of these cut. Let's see. I could make my own stickers by using my Xyron sticker maker, but I think the fact that you get these already cut from Diamond Art Club just makes it so much nicer. Um, again, this kit was purchased before they started doing that, but um, that's okay. I don't mind doing it. It's still having it on the sticker paper makes it easier. So, in theory anyway, if you remember to trim off all of the I'm going to leave that so I can hang on to it so I can cut them. And then cut this side. Should have cut this one off first when I still had a little bit of room to hang on to it. Okay, I think that's all I need my paper cutter for. The rest I can cut with my scissors. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut all these little individual stickers. This kit has 38 colors. So, and I kit up my Diamond Art Club ones a little bit differently than I do my other kits. Um, I'll put a link or a card up here at the top, so a link to another kit that I've done. When I kit up my round ones and when I'm using the square bottles, I generally put them either in the order that they're in on the canvas, um, which usually is also by DMC order, so that's how they end up getting kitted up. However, with Diamond Art Club, because they already have everything printed out and I can just simply cut these stickers, um, I generally do it by the size of the containers. Like if I have a lot of one color, that'll be what gets kitted up in these larger containers. And then the less of that I have, they'll go in the smaller containers. And so it doesn't always end up in DMC order, but because the symbols are on here and because they're so big and so nice and clear, um, it's never really an issue for me when I'm doing these instead of kind of having to hunt for them like I do with so many other kits. I can locate what I want quickly and easily just because I know um, what the symbol is and what I'm looking for and so it becomes really easy to find. Okay, so for this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sticker yet, so generally what I do is I stick it underneath the lid of the container so that I know what kit it is. And then I only have one Elizabeth Ward and I only ever kit up one at a time. But So the two colors that I have the most of are 310 and 3371. I have two bags of each of those. So I'm going to kit both of those up first because they're going to go in my biggest containers. And then I'm going to start with all the little small bags and we'll see where we get to um, because come on peel off there we go I bought some extra storage containers so I might need to go get some of these little smaller ones out of my storage because I just keep what came in the kit in the little tray here but I do have extras of all the different sizes so if I need to kind of adjust what I'm doing to make them fit because the last one the last diamond art club that I kitted up was the good witch by Hannah Lynn and what I did was the same thing put the things that I had the most of in these big containers 
Um, but by the time I got to the end of them, I wasn't hadn't really been paying attention, um, and I ended up with a bunch of beads that would have drills that would have fit in these small containers. But I ended up putting them in these kind of the next size up containers because that's what was out here for me. So we'll see how well I remember to pay attention to that this time. Because I do want to, you know, use an appropriate size container. And I probably could have fit both of these into this size of container, but it would have been extremely full. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the 310 in one of these big ones as well. Because why not? I have them, so I might as well use them. And then that's the other thing I like about the Elizabeth Ward is you can kind of reconfigure things. So I have three of these size, but if I don't need the third one, which I don't think I will, then I can move it out of the way and substitute two of the next size down or three of that next size down or four of the these little ones. So um, it just is really, it's a very modular system, which I like um, for the Elizabeth Ward. So that's why it's, um, my favorite kind of storage and especially for my diamond art clubs, which is not what I intended when I bought the Elizabeth Ward, but just has kind of ended up being my default diamond art club storage. Whenever I do a diamond art club kit, this is what I use. Um, I got this Elizabeth Ward right about the same time I got my first Diamond Art Club kit. So, all right, that's what I ended up using for them. So now I'm gonna start using some of these small ones. Get that little piece of dirt out of there. These small ones, because I have a lot of colors like this that have almost no beads in them, so I just need this little bitty one. Then I have to find the colors, so. This is 9.96. Okay, so that is trash. And then I can put this on here. And on these little containers, the stickers are just a little bit too big, which I don't mind because they're that between these two little pieces where, so it makes it easier for you to grab. They don't quite fit in between there, which is okay with me because that actually means that they don't, um, the stickers don't stick really hard to it. So when I go to peel them off later, it's easy to do. Um, because Diamond Art Club, please, 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 removable sticker paper. Love that you include the stickers. Love that they have the symbols and everything on them pre-made. Uh, love that you're cutting them now, but it would be really, really awesome if they were removable. So when we went to go take them off our containers, we didn't have residue still sticking, or you didn't have to use Goo Gone to clean it off, because you can buy removable sticker paper. I have been actually working on some stickers of my own um, to kind of keep track of my stash as well as um, my spare diamond storage. I have been working on making them pretty because why not? Isn't that kind of what this hobby is about, making things pretty and sparkly? So. Um, I have been going through, I use the shoe box, shoe box, photo box method to store my spare diamonds. And I have one photo box completely full and I actually need another one. Three, eight, four, three. Oops, I missed one of those. Uh, I need another one, but the one I'm using is just one I had laying around and I don't really like the color and it doesn't match. I did my divider cards in a kind of a turquoise color 
And so I've been making my stickers to go on my bags in a blue color, kind of a light blue to go with it. Um, however, my box is brown and it works, but I would rather have a pretty blue one that kind of matches everything. So at some point I'm gonna be getting a couple more photo boxes and then making my spare diamond storage all pretty. I have stickers for my square diamonds, stickers for my round diamonds, the stickers that go on the little divider cards. Um, so yeah, it just thrills my little organizational heart when everything looks good. I think that's part of the appeal of diamond painting is all the organization that you have to do when you're kitting things up because you have to pay attention to things. Where is 317? There's the sticker. Okay. So I get to do all of this organizing, which makes my little type A heart happy. And then once I'm done organizing all the drills, then I get to organize them on my canvas. So that's a large part of the fun for me. Is that crazy? Am I the only one who enjoys kidding up? I enjoy kidding down too because then I get to put all my diamonds away in my spare diamond storage and see all of my pretty diamonds in there. 415. Let's see. I end up kidding, cutting a bunch of these because I get down to the one that I need. And then I just have all these little papers floating around, which is fine, I guess. They're all going to get cut eventually, right? Okay, here's 415, which is the one I need. Okay. I think I'm, I might have enough of these little ones already out that I can get away with not having to get some more out for these colors that don't have very many drills, but we'll see. I really can't wait to get started on this canvas. My oldest has been a fan of this anime forever. And so I, um, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I have to get that one. 38, 19, okay because I knew she would love it. And I showed it to her before I was getting ready to unbox it to show her that that was gonna be my next, my next project. And she was immediately, that's mine, right? So it will be hers when it is finished. So. All right, 38.30, I already have cut. Okay. Well, I can't pour them in there like that, can I? Okay, blow off this dust that somehow keeps finding its way in there. All right, well, let me see. How many do I have left that just have little bits of color? Well, I might need to go find some more, we'll see. 666, let me finish cutting this little strip. Since the one I need is on there. My 666. Got those two. Okay. Hopefully, with this number of colors that are not very many of them, it won't take me very long to finish this one. I think my first Diamond Art Club took me something like 120 plus hours. It was a pretty large kit. 
And then my second Diamond Art Club took me, mm, I want to say 80 some hours. So I think the amount of time and also the cost is what turns some people off of Diamond Art Club. Although, speaking of cost, I did buy myself an early present. I'm calling it my early Mother's Day gift. 947, is that one cut? Nope, that's right here. And I went to Diamond Painting Deutschland and bought myself two Josephine wall paintings. And it is expensive to have it shipped here to the US. It was a $50 shipping fee, which sounds like a lot, and it is, but it comes international shipping. I get a tracking number. I'm supposed to get texts from the company to let me know where they are. Also, that $50 is in euros, which means it's actually more than $50 US. But I really, really, really wanted those kits. And the it will be one of the challenges I've set for myself. One of the kits has 250 colors and one of them has, making sure I'm putting this on the right way and not upside down. Um, one of them has 250 colors and the other one has 300 colors. And they're both kind of big, which is good because with that many colors, you know there's a lot of detail. Um, I have seen other people do Josephine Walls um, and it took me a while to find a painting that I liked. I really wanted to do one of her um, Zodiac series, but my Zodiac sign, the one that she had done for my Zodiac sign, I actually did not really like at all. So, and I wanted it because I knew it was gonna be a really difficult and challenging diamond painting. I wanted it to be something that I really, really wanted to do and an image that I really, really loved. So I found a couple that I liked, a couple that I loved. Of the two that I bought, one I bought because I love it. The other one I bought because the image is okay. I wanted the 300 colors just to set that challenge for myself. However, um, we'll see. I don't know if I'll end up doing both of them. I know I'll do the one of the image that I love. I know I'll do that one. But whether or not I do some of the other ones or the second one, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, let me find a couple here that are kind of big are kind of full because I have run out of the, well, I haven't run out, but I don't have any right here in front of me of the little size. I will have to go grab some more. So I'm going to move up to this size and start filling some of these that have the bigger colors in them. 37, 87 has already been cut. So it's right here. And again, I just love this Elizabeth Ward storage for the Diamond Art Clubs because when they're laying in the tray and the, the symbols are face up where I can see them, I can see the colors of the drills. It just oh, makes my little heart happy, like I said. Let's see, 640 should already be cut, shouldn't it? Yep, it's cut right there. Trying to pick up some of these little ones that I have floating around before I lose the stickers. 640. I'm doing some of these larger ones. And even these larger ones, there's not a ton of drills. So that's good. 938, I have to cut. Okay. 
because I don't even think I need any more of those the size up from these I don't even think I'm gonna need those I don't think there's that many drills but we shall see I don't know if I have enough of the whoops Oop, that one escaped don't know if I have enough of the little bitty tiny ones so I will use some of these just for some of these colors until I figure it out three eight five six whoops let me get that one out of the way three eight five six trying to remember to keep my hands in the frame of the shot it is trying to figure out how to film these craft channels and film overhead it's not the easiest endeavor unless you have all kinds of money to just throw out buying professional studio equipment which I do not I am saving up to buy a better film camera because right now I'm basically just filming with a smartphone which works fine and has been doing great but I don't have the ability to really zoom in like I would like or zoom out I guess I can zoom in but I can't really zoom out and trying to find a setup where I can film overhead like this like I said has been a challenge I think I've gone through gosh one two three four five maybe ten different pieces of equipment trying to find one that I thought would work the best and I'm still not exactly happy with what I have let's see 814 is already cut so it's kind of sometimes a balance of figuring out what pieces you need to make it work and you know not everybody can have a dedicated studio space so you know if you have to find something that you can set up and tear down my home is not set up in such a way that I could do it like on my bar or on my dining room table with lots of natural light even though that would be awesome my house is not configured for that so I just kind of set up 945 where I can and when I can I mean I do have it set up in my craft room and I don't have to tear it up and down but because it's not somewhere like my dining room where I get lots of natural light I had to invest in some lighting a table and then of course lots of trial and error with various pieces of equipment until I found one that sort of worked and then of course I find one and it works okay and then I find I see something else and I'm like oh that would work better I should get that so I get it and then it doesn't at all work the way that I thought it would and <laughs> I end up going back to either what I was doing before or I'm back on the internet searching again um, I have several stands that let me put my camera above but trying to find because I film with my phone trying to find a phone holder that also accommodates that because as I discovered uh, I do have a rather nice camera just a, a regular digital camera that will do video however it only lasts for 12 minutes and then it shuts off so every 12 minutes you have to restart your video which is nuts if my smartphone can figure out how to do this why can't a camera that I paid way more than that for figure it out but it's a camera made for taking pictures it's not a camera though it has video functions it's not made to shoot video and video cameras a lot of them do not have autofocus which when you're doing this kind of crafting stuff you kind of need because people are watching what your hands do and as your hands move things go in and out of focus so having an autofocus at least to me is 
uh, a requirement, not just a nicety. So I have my eye on a camera that I want. However, it does require that I spend some time saving up some money for it. And then I go out and do things like spend a bunch of money on Josephine Wall diamond paintings. And then that just means it's going to be even longer before I get the camera because I can't stop buying diamond paintings. So I do have quite a stash built up of various diamond paintings. I don't have a huge stash of Diamond Art Club. Um, although that may change because Gosh, in the last two months, I've bought four more kits and I just saw some more new releases on Instagram that I may or may not get. One of their new releases that I tried to get was sold out before I was in line to purchase it because I am not a high enough member in their little status thing to get first dibs on purchases, so until that happens, which I think I just need to probably make one more purchase and I will hit that, I had to wait 30 minutes before I could get in line to purchase and by the time that 30 minutes was up they'd already sold out of the one that I wanted. So, so I have signed up to get an email when it is back in stock, but what can you do? Consult yourself and go out and buy two Josephine Wall diamond paintings, I guess. That's what I did. Let's see, 934. And I've just got these four left, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these last four. And after I cut, oh, put this 934 in there, I think I'm down to colors that will fit in the little bitty ones. So I am going to take a quick break and run and go grab my extra little ones and see where I end up. Move some of these around and I will be right back. Okay, I have gotten some more of my little ones. So let me grab some of these bags that don't have very many in them at all. Let's see, 904. Because I just hate to waste space. And if I don't need the big ones and I've got these little ones, then I should use them, right? And I've never noticed, or I haven't gone and looked, does every color from Diamond Art Club have its own particular symbol? Because like I know the three tens have the last kit that I did, it was this circle. And I know I've seen this symbol before, but I don't know if it was in that color on the last one. So, should have paid more attention, I guess. All right, where's 906? That's 905, there's 906. Trying to peel these off sometimes is annoying. Okay, 906. I haven't used some of these kits, these little containers before I can tell because they're so stiff when I go to open them. Sometimes they won't open for me. I can't get my thumbnail underneath there or get a nail under there. And I'll use my straightener to kind of pop the tip open so that I'm not ruining my fingernails. 907, because I do enough ruining my fingernails on my own. I try to grow them out. I'm not a big fan of fake fingernails. I've only had them a couple of times in my life and I do not like what they do to my real fingernails underneath. I feel like my fingernails can't breathe. Literally the last time I had fake nails was when I got married 20 some years ago, my first marriage. 
and I hated it. it. Was nice while they were done, but once they started coming off, they just tore my regular nails up. And while I do enjoy getting manicures and pedicures, I do not get fake nails put on. So my own nails may not be the prettiest, but they're mine. And I tried to grow them out, but as soon as I do, and I think, oh, they're long enough, I might actually try and put some fingernail polish on them, I start breaking them, which is what I did last week. They were finally long enough. Come on, get out of there. Finally long enough that I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint them. I've had them for a couple weeks. They're still long. I'm doing good. And so what happened? Of course, I broke a whole bunch of them. So, needless to say, they did not get painted. Excuse all the noise while I rearrange all these drills here, all the containers. 301. Because invariably, I will break them on something at work. Or, you know, something stupid like, hey, I closed the car door and I realized I broke a nail while I did it. So, bonus, I guess, all that money I don't spend on nails, I can spend on diamond paintings. Silver linings, right? So, if I think about it that way, I spent four nail manicures on getting my Josephine walls. That's not a bad trade-off. Not that I would have spent that money on my nails anyway, but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm down to the last few colors here. Let's see. 3865. And I think I am going to get them all in these little containers, but we shall see. I said that and I probably am not going to have enough just because I said that because that's how my life goes. I jinxed myself. Okay. 3818. Yep, I jinxed myself. I have two colors left and I do not have two containers left because, of course, I don't. <laughs> So one of those colors may go in a bigger one just so I don't have to get up and go hunt another little container. Alright, let's put this one in this container. Can't get the sticker paper off of it. Okay. For having 38 colors, again, looking at this as it's kitted up, gosh, it's only taking up about half of my Elizabeth Ward storage, which is kind of crazy. So I will move some of these containers around, and then I will kind of show you how much of it it is not taking up. Okay. All right, here we go. Last color. Come on, get off of there. Okay. There is the last sticker for the last color. Last bag of drills. Oh, there's a blue one hiding in there. That's okay. And I'm going to put that one right there. Okay, let me move these. move them around and I'll show you just how much storage this is taking up because it's not a lot honestly. I can't get that one in there. Let me take this one out. Okay and I still have room for two little ones if I had them to kind of make up the difference but so that is all of the containers that it took. 
you can see I've got two full of these. This row and this row to here are the little tiny ones. And then I have the rest of this row, all of this row, and this row over here of the next size down. And then I have the two 3371 and the 310 kitted up in these large ones. And then I have all this extra space. So I am going to put away my extra containers. I'm going to add my little sticker to my blog book and I am going to get started. So that was the kitting up for Princess Mononoke, my Diamond Art Club kit in my Elizabeth Ward storage. If you like this video, don't forget to do all the things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thank you for watching.